Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion.
I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor. But I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. for me must be tough out here on your own yeah I thought fragile Express had plenty of people plenty of traitors not much left of us now save for a few honest folks and on top of that not much left of me either got soaked from neck to toe I can't help you with that I make deliveries that's all Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Time for fast forwards, whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges Corpse Disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come and take a look. <laughs> the 
He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out, too. Roll out! different when I was a kid. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Rainbow! How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're up to cut to the BTs. Stalled. Those assholes got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. Uh. Sam, can you see anything? No, nothing. Uh. This 
BB must be busted or something.
bridges falling down my fair lady Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. How does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner, originally. Call me Dead Man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Contrary to the name, I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Oh, us. Yup. Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. <laughs> Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. 
Puffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days? During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. We're at our base in Capital Knot City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Huh. Uh, uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? Clinging woman in a cave. Hmm. I see. Aphanfosomphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, uh, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer, in critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah. Here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. Uh, the truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward.
vital signs are all trending the same way. No chance of a recovery, then? None that I can see. No. We should start making preparations. Sam! It's me, dead man. Sorry, my mistake. I'm afraid the president's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. That's the president's right-hand man, the director of bridges. Die hard man? Oh, you were with Bridges One? So, I guess no introductions are necessary. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well... Good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. <sighs> we'll leave you two alone. her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie. She needs you. <laughs> Together, you you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. <laughs> the,
So you are willing to help me? No, I I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> Madam President! Oh, no. Doctor, we need your help. Listen, no one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now what happened here does not leave this room, do you understand? Yes, Director, but there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered. Sam, before she died, the president made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question. And there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the president's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now, the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements, tombs, repatriate. So me, why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Now get it done, Sam Border Bridges. President Strand believed in American Reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors.
But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it. America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. We'll be monitoring you around the clock. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support by the cufflinks. BB-28. It's the unit Igor was assigned. It was hooked up to you when we found you in the crater. But why is it here? Because it's flagged for disposal. Central Knot's gone, and our headquarters along with it. Because that thing didn't do its job. It's all in Igor's logs. But it's still alive. It can't be repaired. And it can't survive outside the pod. Pity it if you want, but the decision has been made. It has to go. The director approved the order.
place is fucked. There's tons of them. Must be from the bodies we couldn't get up to the incinerator in time. Comes with the territory, I'm afraid. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. up to a BB. Your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It amplifies fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the president's office. We need to talk. Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the President. It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. I 
it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. You did well, Sam. Thank you. Now, Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam? You're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious, then, about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll reestablish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No. I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of Bridges won. And went west. them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenaut City. All the way to the Pacific? Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. 
That's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edge Not City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. There are extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. By men who tell them what to do. Who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a qubit. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the chiral web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edge Knot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on! Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another.
Sam. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. Not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away. But our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. 
Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. It won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator.
good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A steel mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. <sighs> These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a steel mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. 
Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, I received word from Mama that she's completed her anti-BT weapon. Prototypes of her design form a part of your next shipment. A delivery of relief supplies for the people of Port Knot City. Port Knot City is a fair distance from BT territory, but the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. They'll also provide people with the means to defend themselves when traveling outside the city limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines, as well as human sperm and egg samples. These specimens are essential for maintaining genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Chirelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the chiral network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So, we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. Details on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, 
This will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. Just one big continent. And do you know what this is? The moon. I'll show you the real thing soon. I promise. into a new chiral age or some shit? Yeah. Is that cool? Hell yeah. Go for it. Been waiting forever today for this.
name's Higgs, the particle of God that permeates all existence. Ah, so it was you that dragged him into all this. <laughs> Bloodied but unvowed. <laughs> What's that? Bridget Strand is dead. America's last president dead and burned. Oh, and now the girl's been chosen to take mommy's place. Well, that won't wash. She's not cut out for politics, is she? Oh, but don't worry. I'll find her. And I'll keep her real safe. <laughs> you see, I've come to understand the truth of the Death Stranding. Oh, there's so much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. Oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Now you... You're no bridge. But me, I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world, and our sweet little angel of death. through then I don't break that easy name notwithstanding you saw that asshole too right Higgs he's the leader of a separatist group seemed to me like he was controlling that BT that's a level seven for you higher maybe seems like you know a lot about him used to work together guess you could say we had a contract you did business with terrorists whoever pays huh he wasn't like that back then. So what's your angle? You want to save the world or you want to fuck it all up like him? I wish I... I just wish things were different, all right? Here's all right. Don't worry, she still floats. 
Come on. We're the only cargo left. We should get there tomorrow. I told you before, Sam. The past just won't let go. Listen, I have something to ask of you. It has to do with that asshole, Higgs. Do you remember? It's almost time to go, Sam. I had no idea until you told me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. I don't want to go home. Here, it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Did you forget how to go home? Come on. I'll take you halfway. And then you can do the rest by yourself. Better now? 
I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. We used to play together a lot in this place. You brought me here. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. So you can't just come back east through here? Not until you make us whole again, Sam. I'll be waiting for you, on the beach. Come and find me. I don't know how you sleep. Need to pick me up? Welcome to Lake Knot City. What? Nothing. Let's go. This cargo is from Port Knot City, bound for Lake Knot. I'll leave these up to you. The dispatch terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator. Sharing makes everyone safer. I'm all for it. You can bet I'm not the only one here who feels that way. I suppose it was better when Bridges One first came this way. At least I don't remember terrorists and BTs making our lives difficult back then. Well, be careful out there. The world's not what it used to be. And thank you. Finally made it past Ground Zero, Sam. Congratulations. And thank you. It'll only get harder from here, though. When we first came through, it was different. Peaceful. The three cities out there, Lake, Middle, and South Knot, were all on board with our plans for reconstruction. Fragile Express was contracted by all three and kept supplies moving and people connected. 
But that all changed a year ago, when the Separatists carried out their attacks. One took out Middle Knot City. They detonated nukes from the old days. Half of South North City went up in the other. Casualties were devastating. Bridges doesn't have the resources to link up the remaining cities on its own. We need to secure the support of everyone, even those who want nothing to do with the UCA. Impossible as that may seem. The situation has changed dramatically since Bridges 1 first went west. The destruction of Middle Nod in particular forced us to adapt a new strategy. It's like Amelie said, we don't have the time or resources to construct another knot on that scale. That's why we've taken to cutting deals with preppers and the like. Our only recourse is to utilize their shelters to bolster the strength of the network. It takes a special kind of person to live out here on their own. The kind that'll tell us to fuck off if we ask him to join the UCA. Oh, we know. No one's expecting them to say yes up front. But even if they don't like dealing with most people, they got on okay with Fragile Express. Don't tell me. You want us to use her credentials to get in good with them? Bingo. She's agreed to it, too. And in exchange, she gets... Nothing, really. A chance to get back at Higgs, I suppose? I can't blame her for warning one. He took everything from her and then some. Time heals some wounds, but not hers. The work ahead won't be simple or easy, but it needs doing. Get some rest for now. We'll talk more later. For me? It's called a key proof. It means not in old words. You can also use it to count stuff. I add a knot when I make a friend. Okay. Then how about I add another knot every time I see you? This must be very important to you if you were able to bring it here. Very special. It is special. I made it for you. I'll treasure it, Sam. Something to eat? Are you here? Ask your boss man. No. I mean, why are you here? Got a delivery for a porter. You're gonna need this on the road ahead. This will ID you as an associate of Fragile Express. It's woven from my blood and chiral crystals. Think of it as a kind of bond. Preppers around these parts won't give you trouble so long as you've got it. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until Higgs fucked it all up. Me, the Express, our reputation, all of it. And now you want to fuck them back? On your own? I'm not on my own. The cave, Port Knot City, next to your bed. So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting. All that beaty country in between where I should have been caught in a void out. Yet here I am. Here I am. You can use the beach? I have a beach. You've got yours. I've got mine. I use it to jump across space. 
I can't conjure up BTs the way Hex can, but I can go after him, chase him to the beach. Problem is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. You all right? The jumps take a lot out of me. Suck my blood dry. You're going to Edgenaut City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with heat sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. It's not what I do. What if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach to any place the Kyrelians think enough, any place connected to the Chiral network. And what do you expect in return? I expect you to think it over. Here, call it an incentive. And call me if you need me. This will keep us connected. See you when I see you. Just like we used to. Come on, keep up. Sorry, did I wake you up? Today is mommy's birthday. the anniversary of when we first met. Sam, to review. Your present objective is to extend the Cairo network from Lake Knot City to South Knot City. To that end, you'll need to utilize prepper shelters as way stations. Frankly, it won't be easy. Fragile's tried to get some of them on board. But you know how preppers are. More than a few won't want anything to do with the UCA. So we've got to prove to them they're better off with us. Figure out what they need and what we can provide, and then deliver. Do that, and they just might agree to join us. All right, get to it. The list of orders is on the terminal. Delivering cargo. Thanks. Sam Bridges, I presume? I've heard of you. The man trekking across the country trying to reconnect folks. I appreciate you bringing me this. I do. Times have been tough without Fragile Express to handle deliveries. Let me just check the cargo. Huh. Wow. You took really good care of this. I'll let Bridges know how the V&V &V testing goes. I need you to understand something. It's about Fragile. You might have heard she helped terrorists. That she didn't care who got hurt. But I'm telling you, that's gotta be bullshit. Her and her people put their lives on the line to get us what we needed. She's a hero through and through. Look, I was born in this shelter. The only world I've ever known is within these walls. So when people talk about America, I can't even begin to imagine it. But if that Cupid connects me to everyone else, I won't have to. So yeah, I want to join the UCA. I want to see what I've been missing. And 
with that, my standalone 3D printer is capable of chiral printing. Assuming it works, the Evo Devo unit should enable me to replicate all kinds of archived objects. We can rebuild America one piece at a time. In the meantime, I can use the network to see what's going on in the cities. Track mule and terrorist activity. It's like you brought me the whole wide world in that package. Thank you, Sam. Let's do business again. Oh, yeah. I've got a little something I'd like you to put through its paces. An assist unit I developed myself. Works perfectly in sim trials, but I need someone to test it out on solid ground. And if it makes your job a little easier, all the better. I might make a test somewhere you're open. A toast to Lisa. And to you. Not bad. Excellent work, Sam. You've brought three way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid and the Cairo network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mules drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. Ready to take the plunge? So, the only things you can bring with you is yourself. And maybe a few other trinkets that are really important to you. Okay, close your eyes. Picture your destination. Hold it in your mind. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. Now, you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs? Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy, as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it, though. Just ask her, and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not, we need her help. Sam, it's fragile. A year you brought three preppers into the network, and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. As long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it, in person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? We've prepped a prototype bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there. Thank you. 
think you could keep us safe. <laughs> Man like you. human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the Death Stranding, scientists used to fret over the singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one, but if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone, from folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one, too. Head for the private room. Go on. Your work is greatly
Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? way my dad made it sound. We were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow, they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old-school nuke that I ended up carrying riding to Middle Knot City. Are you tell me, then? Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. Set fragile up, huh? He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Knot City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. Delivering cargo. Oh. 
long time gone, my girl. All because of some terrorist nutjobs and their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the Bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time, like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? As far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your Cupid and fuck off. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Now, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. to get the goods out of there? That takes balls. And would you look at that, Hall? You're definitely a cut above those fragile express goons. Let me guess, the great deliverer, am I right? Thought so. You know, those ruins you went to wouldn't be ruins if fragile hadn't fucked us over. Bridges, too. All that talk of rebuilding the country. It's just stirring folks up. My girl would still be alive if it wasn't for you people. She was there. When the terrorists tried to take out South Knot, she was already dead. Because of you. He's wrong. She's in a shelter southeast of the ruins. Mind if I take over? If he's not coming outside, then it doesn't matter who he yells at over the wire. And I'm guessing he'll feel better taking it out on me. Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. She says it's hers. You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. It's a skeleton I made that improves stability and mobility. Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear, I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely fucking lutely sure you complete this delivery. If my girl's still alive, then when she sees what you're carrying, she'll want you to bring her here. You do right by me. I'll do right by you. Delivering cargo. Uh, are you with Fragile Express? No. You're a Bridges Porter, aren't you? I'm not expecting a package. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, is it? Oh, my lord. I never thought I'd see this again. Let me have a closer look. Oh, incredible. Not so much as a single scratch. I can't thank you enough. So, I'm on the one and only Chiral Network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA.
take me with you. Please, I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorists attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if you want. Just say you take me. Give my body his present too. Won't be needing this anymore. I'm done fighting. You're all that matters to me now, so I'm gonna stay right here with you. My friend will know what to do with this one. Well, Merry Christmas. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry
I'll hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. Are you hurt? Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my life, silly. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were. I kept it close, always. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on, like forgetting you. Well, now we can both move on, together, you and me, if you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. They don't peddle junk. He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece we don't need. <laughs> the only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. I will. I do. Yes. <laughs> Don't hate mom, please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. I'll never forget you. Thank you.
Okay, Sam. Close your eyes. Clear your thoughts and picture your destination. the mess. I got caught in the rain. Oops. Didn't mean to give you a shower. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time. I'm sorry. I should have come sooner. South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. Now, no one's starving, not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood none of which can be sent by a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? Unable to process order. Unable to process order. Please stand by until the problem can be rectified. Oh, hi. Uh, Sam Bridges, I presume? <laughs> Sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. It says here the client is fragile herself. Someone double-tagged it so the system couldn't tell whether it's for Fragile Express or Bridges. <sighs> Anywho, really sorry for the holdup, and, uh, careful. The contents are fragile. <laughs> yes, okay. Everything all right, Zeph? Your body's aching after carrying all that. No shame in taking a break from time to time. Oh, hi, uh, Sam Bridges, I presume? It says here the client is fragile herself. Careful, the contents are fragile. Son of a bitch, it was him. What are you talking about? The package I picked up for you, the one from Lake Knot. Hold on, I wasn't expecting any package. He said Fragile herself was the client. The system was down, so some Bridges delivery guy had to hand it over in person. Who? Look, the point is, it was Higgs. Come on, I need to see it now.
to nuke! Not again. The bastards can do this to me again. The timer's already started. I can't stop it. We only have one option. Sam, we've got to get rid of it. Take it down to the crater next to South Knot. It's a tar pit. Damn near bottomless. If we chuck it in there, we just might have a chance. Jesus, that was close. You saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Middle Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me. And you. By the time I realized what Higgs was planning, the nuke was already at the city gates. I followed the delivery truck and somehow managed to carry the bomb to safety. But Higgs had been on to me from the start. He caught me red-handed outside the gates, nuke still cradled in my arms like a child. So, as punishment, he strips me down to nothing, and then he makes it rain. Listen up, Fragile. I got a proposition for you. Do you want to live out your days as damaged goods? Or would you rather take damage for the goods? Get to the point. All right. If all you want is to save yourself, you just have to jump. However, if you want to see this altruistic streak of yours through, then you'll have to carry my nuke to the bottomless pit and toss it in. Oh, sure, you'll be the city's savior. But you will have to walk naked through Timefall to do it. Trade a lot of your time for a little bit of the city's? <laughs> Hell, seems like a fair exchange to me. Is I don't much care for my face. That's why I hide it. Oh, but you. Oh, you just love yours, don't you? I bet Daddy was real proud. Oh. Mm. Oh. Now, don't worry. I won't mess it up. I want your face to 
be a kind of testament. Why did you do it? Why did you betray me? Because I found someone who completes me. Someone who doesn't need me to wear a mask. Oh. <clears throat> Word to the wise. Even if you do save South Knot, You'll always be the nut job who blew up Middle Knot. Oh, and that pretty face of yours will always be remembered as the face of a terrorist. They'll never stop hunting you. Believe me, I know. Oh, they can slap a sticker on you, but you're still gonna break in transit. Oh. So... What's it gonna be? Hmm? I'll take the damage and the goods. I don't break that easy. <laughs> ah, well, good luck with that. I'll take the damage. I don't break that easy. I'll take the damage and the goods. I don't break that easy. But I'm not that fragile. I'm no hero, Sam. That choice I made, I've regretted it ever since. All I had to do was jump, and I could have saved myself. But instead, you saved a city. And more than that, you gave people hope. Well, now there's only one person left for me to save. I'm gonna make Higgs regret he ever crossed me. By killing him? Can't. He's way more powerful now than he was before. But you could take him. You could. But promise me. Promise me you'll leave him alive. There's something I want to ask him to his face. I didn't think you were capable of torture. I'm now. And I want to know why he betrayed me. Do you want it?
Sam. Don't forget about the supply run to South Knot City. Great to see you, man. You don't know how much we've been looking forward to this. A lot of people hurting here. Gotta start with those who need it most. Given this quantity, everyone ought to get a share. We really appreciate it. So is it true the Chiral Network is finally becoming a reality? I can't believe it. I really can't. It feels like a dream, almost. This is not a dream. And yeah, we want to be part of it. Supplies are ready and waiting. I suppose I don't need to tell you to take care when you come fetch them. Thanks, Sam. You've saved South Knot City and brought our people even closer together. You're halfway there. Halfway to making us whole again. Listen, there's something I need to tell you. Sam, Amelie's connection just dropped. We've been rooting her calls through the old system. Must be a problem with the lines. I'll look into it. Let's just hope it's nothing more serious. Sam, I'm detecting a chiral spike. Right in your vicinity. These numbers are off the charts. This might explain the sudden service interruption. Whatever's causing it could pose a threat to the Knot Cities. Get out there and investigate.
Everything okay? Where am I? Say again? What happened to me? The second you left the distribution center, the storm blinked out. Just like that. Chiral density dropped almost as fast. I got caught in the storm and I was in a war zone. You been daydreaming, Sam? Comms were only down for a second. No, it was much longer than that. There was this soldier. He tried taking my BB. If you say so. <laughs> a little one can vouch for me. Sam? It's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for... For hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. Yeah, I know. You're kid, right? Be careful, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. Mm -hmm.